Hi viewers, thank you so much for stopping by. This is your girl Nakara. I'm here today with another amazing uh, video ideas on how to organize your clothes closet. Um, yes, yes. I'm sure you will be taking away some amazing tips. So whether your closet is a big one or small one or you know, whatever it is, there will be information that you can take away on how to organize and make your closet looks beautiful, neat and tidy. So come along with me and you can tidy yours as I tidy mine as well. So this is the closet that I will be organizing today. If you can see, it's really a hot mess. So what I'll be doing, I'll have to declutter all that is here and I'll show you some amazing method that I'll be using to organize this closet. amazing treasures wow you can see it's a really tiny closet I have achieved a clean slate at the moment so everything is out and I've just put in this lovely basket at the top okay so this is my idea I've decided that I want to try trial this as my clothes divider okay um, it's actually a four border fence um, that can be used in a garden Right, as you can see it's brand new so I mean yeah you know you can use it for our own purpose and use so I'm just gonna be going ahead now to demonstrate what you how to use it in the closet okay it's quite long it's about um, yeah 36 height and 50 centimeter wide going in now with some glue and then um, so I'm gonna be sticking this beautiful garden dividers or borders into my cupboard now all right so you'll need to bend it all right so you'll need the end you'll need to sort of give it a bend and you can use a little pliers and and then you want to just give it some a good nice glue so i'm going to be doing that now and just be careful with your glue when you're around because the clothes are around so just be careful with your glue
install all the containers now and I've got a little basket at the top that you can get from Wilco on this side this has a built-in like a little secure closet and um, a little locker locker and on this side as I've showed you before where I have used um, these border really literally garden border but you can DIY yourself and use this for your divider in your closet so what I did I just bend you can you can take away one section so what I did um, in the end I have to remove which is very easy to do I've just removed a bit of it and leave one section which you can see here this section here so I've just bend this section and the other bit um, this one is attached so that's fine but the other one is not attached and so what I did I break it off so it can sit in the cupboard neatly all right so I'm just gonna be going in with some hangers made some progress now um, so I'm just going to be folding away all the leggings and the tights um, I've got tons and tons and tons of, and they can be really a nuisance because they get tied up with each other and uh, so disorganized so I have a beautiful quick method just to show you and this is what I have came up with all right guys so what are you gonna do um, you don't need to be wasting a lot of time really so what I just just fold it as if it's a socks and just wheel it together like this and what you just want to do is just tuck it in like that so you end up with a nice ball shape like this and you just want to fold it over each other fold it over fold it over okay so you know the color you can just pick it up and go all right so there you go so just want to tuck it in neatly and so we got a nice ball shape so this will be going in here all right can you see this guys this is like an office organizer um, yeah so I'm using this which I have bought from Wilco I'm sure you can get them online and you also have the ones um, the metal ones as well and I find that the metal one was a bit rough and I didn't want it to cut my hands when I put if I got a reach inside there but you got to keep treat this very well because it's hard cardboard it's very very thick so um, it should actually serve me for a good long time, for a couple of years really. I will be folding the scarf in this beautiful basket here and I'll show you everything when I'm finished okay it's just about folding your scarf neatly and flat as, as much as you can so I I will able to um, accommodate as much as I can into that basket so let's do this properly is I'll be folding these scarf as small as possible and then I just want to put them in a rectangular position so I'm gonna be 
fixing them side by side, side by side on you, you know? Yeah, so you want to be doing that for your, if you've got scarf, um, a lot like myself. And we're going to be getting rid of all the scarf that I've been using for years. There's no need for me to be holding on to them. They're going. All right, they are going, even if they're beautiful. <laughs> they're going. <laughs> um, so this one, I, I sort of like this one for my hair because it's... Um, it's thin and it's not too thick. Okay, so it's time now for me to show you the finished look. Right. So if you remember when I've actually put into put in place these lovely basket, um, so they're at the extreme top of the closet. And in this closet there's so much room going on up there in the roof, but you know. <laughs> Um, it's not really accessible right so I have got these bought these basket from B&M and they were eight pound each a little bit pricey but I believe they worth the money because they're quite big and you rarely see these huge baskets around um, so and it actually filled the entire mostly most of the entire space up here okay and so what I do I put all my winter most of my winter items um, in here and I will take out the summer stuff um, that I will be wearing now I mean you can actually use this basket for whatever purpose you need to use it for okay Right, so just moving down. I have used this lovely basket, which I have bought from Wilco, but you can get them from Ikea, um, eBay, Amazon, wherever. Um, yeah. And I have just used this lovely... Um, you can put whatever items you want to put into this basket. But for me, I have these lovely little bags, little purse, um, when you're going out on special occasions. And I have them tucked away in plastic bag, guys, for a while. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> so I've decided to put these little bags or purse um, in this area. Um, and it looks much ladylike and it gives the closet a bit of glam as well as um, just in the middle section so I have three sections one two and three and it's very small it's a small closet but you know it, it's nice um, um, it's got a quite deep depth so it's able to actually accommodate lots of items inside right the, the dividers remember the dividers that I've shown you early on so these ones it, I've actually DIY um, these were just garden borders that I have bought from Wilco and what I did it has this long tip just here at the end it, it was quite long probably about 10 centimeter long so what I did I just bend it so it was able to glide into this uh, under the shelf on here okay the other end as well it also has one and what I did I break it off it was able to come off very easily and I just glued it down with some super glue and um, it's quite firm guys you can see I'm knocking it it's not going anywhere it's quite fixed um, using the super glue and again I have used the same thing going on right here all right the next thing that I have done um, with this area is to use all the colors um, the matching colors of your clothing so I've put all the colors as you can see like the yellows together the white together and it looks so beautiful and so uniform guys um, the jeans together on this section I've got some darker green and they just sit together here on opposite side over there again I've got something like a brown going on on that side um, just below here I've got all my oranges on my browns um, sitting nicely here together and yeah so all that sort of color tone together the blacks 
they sits here on this section as well and yeah it's all not that professionally folded guys but you know we you know I don't have time to be ironing all these clothes item at all no um, so I've just folded it to the best that I can I know I could do better but I don't have the time so on in this basket I kept all my my work clothing so I don't have to be digging everywhere whenever I need my work this is my uniform this is the office clothing mostly and just down here I've got remember I was folding those scarf so this is where I put my scarf and it looks so amazing guys all right so I can able to just easily pull it out and just choose whichever scarf that I need and just push it on the back and it's lovely all right on either side you can see my uh, my little hanging closet section going on there we have hung all the clothing organize this section to be my casuals and this section to be my formal wear all right this section I've got some leggings on here so I've just neatly folded it um, like that and just tuck it down in there like that all right um, over here as well I have got just a little basket here it's the plastic one guys I'm not so much fond of it but it, it looks lovely so I decide to keep it and um, just add some personal items in here guys so yeah all right um, so I believe that's it for today So after you finish organizing your closet, just don't forget to just go in with your blue diamond, um, otherwise known as a camper ball. All right. And if you have seen my previous video, I did mention that you could get it from your, um, if you check your, maybe the high street, the local high street area, um, where you will find like the Asian. Um, stores um, pop in there and you can actually ask them if they do have any um, all right so wherever you are just check them out I mean this is quite available and very um, common in the uh, West Indies um, I'm sure it should be around as well in Africa and Asia around that area you should be able to get this um, this one is called blue diamond and this is the best one this is the one that you need to look out for or we call it um, in the Caribbean it's called the camphor ball all right guys you can put one in or two in each section um, please remember to give me a thumbs up and do subscribe it's very encouraging to um, to be able to see you in subscribing to my channel which will really cheers me up and um, give me a bit of push to continue to do these videos and produce it out on this platform for you all right